Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. I am Dr. Zina, a full-time dentist. You have selected this video because you want to learn about the angles classification of malocclusion. But before we continue, make sure to press the subscribe button down below because it would really help me to do more and more videos. Starting with the normal occlusion, in which the mesobuccal cusp of the upper first molar is sitting on the buccal group of the lower first molar. It is called normal occlusion because the teeth are in normal alignment, not like the class 1 mal occlusion. The class 1 mal occlusion is similar to normal occlusion, but the difference is that the teeth are not in normal alignment. There is crowding as you can see. Class 2 mal occlusion, the distobuccal cusp of the upper first molar is sitting on the buccal groove of the lower first molar. Lastly, in class 3 mal occlusion, the mesobuccal cusp of upper first molar is sitting between the lower first and second molar. So in between. Now it's question time. Is this one a normal occlusion or malocclusion? And if it is a malocclusion, which class is it? Comment down below if you know the answer. To decide whether it is an occlusion or malocclusion, look at the first molar, the upper first molar. As you can see, the distal buccal cusp of the upper first molar is lying on the buccal groove of the lower first molar. So this is a class 2 malocclusion, class 2 malocclusion. What about this one? Is it a class 1, 2, 3, or normal occlusion? Here, the mesiobuccal cusp of the upper first molar is lying on the buccal groove of the lower first molar. So it is a class 1 malocclusion. What about this one? Is it a class 1, 2, 3 malocclusion? As you can see, the upper first molar is sitting between the lower first and second molar. You can see the part of the, like the mesiobuccal cusp is lying on the lower first molar and the distobuccal cusp is lying on the lower second molar. So between, between is the class 3 malocclusion. What about this one? Is it a class 1, 2, or 3 malocclusion? Here also you can see a clearer picture showing that the mesiobuccal cusp of the upper first molar is lying on the distobuccal cusp of the lower first molar and the distobuccal cusp of the upper first molar is lying on the mesiobuccal cusp of the lower second molar. So this is between. Between is always considered to be class 3 malocclusion. What about this one? Is it a class 1, 2, or 3 malocclusion? It is also a class 3 malocclusion, and now you know the reason why is it a class 3. Lastly, what is this? Is it a class 1, 2, or 3 malocclusion? Now here, the mesiobuccal cusp of the upper first molar is lying on the buccal groove of the lower first molar, so definitely it will be a class 1 malocclusion.